reactive hip turn shuffle. So what we're working on with this drill is you're gonna have a lot of verbal and visual cues that you encounter out in the basketball court and you're gonna to react to those verbal and visual cues. So what we're trying to do is mimic those verbal and visual cues. Uh, obviously we can't do that without actually playing the game of basketball. But when we're in the weight room, we can utilize um, those, the, the concepts there and apply them to the drills that we're doing. And we're doing exactly that with this drill. In addition to that, what we're working on is staying loose as you do it. And you'll see what I'm talking about here when I start the drill, staying loose and being able to turn on a lot of tension to uh, and, uh, at a moment's notice and being very explosive while doing it. And then not only that, getting right back into being loose and then repeating that same, um, creating, you know, act of creating a ton of tension and being explosive um, when you have to be, okay? And finally, working on changing levels. So that's gonna be really important in the game of basketball. Sometimes you gotta play a little bit more tall, a little bit more upright. Other times you gotta play low. Um, we wanna be able to have that variability um, within your, your Ask your actual abilities out on the basketball court and that's what we're trying to work with here so ideally before I start this I should say ideally you got a partner that can call out left right um, for this drill for you so you don't know what's coming because that's part of the idea uh, they could also point left or right uh, they can also use you then you can go with different words that you know different wordplay so like one of the things that's common that I'll do is I'll see either cat or dog and cat will mean left and dog will mean right so there's another layer of, of verbal processing that's involved that the, the basketball player has to go through and make a quick decision um, while being explosive, changing levels and, and creating that tension, being explosive that we just talked about. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in this position here. I'm just loose and relaxed, right? Let's say they call out right. So then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drop and open up my hips and I'm going boom, 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 shuffle, 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 and I spread right back. And then I'm right back in place, okay? Now they call left. And I'm right back in place, okay? So you're being as explosive as you can. Big thing with that hip rotation. So you start tall, quick open the hips, boom, and then you attack the ground with that outside foot moving yourself in the direction that you open up to, okay? Um, big thing with that don't pivot this is one thing that i'll see when we start doing this drill with some of the basketball players to work with is they'll they'll go they'll open up the hip but they open up the hip by pivoting on that outside foot make sure that your feet clear so it's like an actual rotation and then i can push and get moving where i need to go be mindful of that as you do the drill stay loose stay relaxed turn on the tension when you need to change levels don't worry about messing up. The biggest thing I can say is like, let's say you're working with a partner, they call out left or right, or whatever words they wanna use, or they point, and you turn the wrong direction, immediately fix it and just go. Don't, don't dwell on your screw ups. I see that oftentimes too. Some of the basketball players initially when we start doing this drill, is like, you know, they might be here, and I call out left, and they turn right, and they're like, oh man. And they come back, and they're like, okay, let's do that again. If I call out left and they turn right, it should be like, ah, ah, and then you go right back in, fix that error, and you're right back in the game. So don't dwell on your mistakes. 